Welcome Libra. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks and what it is that we can help you with along this journey of yours. Okay, we're using the Druid Wisdom cards. We're using the Mystical Journey Oracle deck and the Light Seer's Tarot. Okay, so Libra, let's start with the Druid Wisdom here. Okay, so three cards for Libra, please. Three cards for Libra. One, two, three. Just like that. Alrighty. Ooh, Libra. This is interesting. I feel like there's something Libra. See, this is the card here, but I don't know what it is yet. I'm just looking at the picture, which is this. Okay. And I feel as though there's sort of like somewhere you want to get to in your life, but you're not quite sure how to get there. Okay. Well, you're trying to figure it out at least. So what does it say? Ritual embrace. Embrace me in ceremony as the morning fog moves in slow. The sad sadness will dissipate on the shores of Land do land did know. Land did know. Must be a place somewhere. Um, it says carry obsidian for grounding and release. Okay, so maybe it's you getting somewhere emotionally, maybe you're healing from something or something is going on for you that you want to um move away from. So let's see, these two cards fell out together so I just want to see which one to pick up first this one here okay pagan wisdom pagan wisdom okay so remember the lesson of nature not everything needs to be rushed a gift comes in waiting for a loving tender touch carry rose quartz for respect and love. I like that. You know, sometimes we can suppress things, right, by trying to move too quickly. Um, but also, I feel like another thing about this Libra is about you accepting help and allowing people to actually inject you with love rather than the other way around. Okay. Um, we have the last card here, which is Pilgrim's Peace. Oh, I like this. Look at this. Sitting above... The city here escaping from the hustle and bustle of the city, right? And going up into somewhere peaceful. So let's see here. This says, pack a bag and get away for a while. Find a way to gain perspective from higher ground. Trust your place in the great and glorious grand scheme of things. Life is a spiritual pilgrimage. Carry rainforest jasper to awaken spiritual awareness. Well, it's quite a mixture on in your journey, right? Um, yeah, let's see what the cards say. Let us have a look for your Libra. Okay. That's too quick. Libra. One card for Libra, please. Apparently, my words are gone all funny for some reason. I don't know why. There we go. That's what I like. That's how I like it to happen. Inner child, Libra. Inner child. How much work are you doing with your inner child? Libra, are you working with your inner child on a daily basis? Um, for some of you, you might not have worked with your inner child before. So this is something that is very important for us to do, right? Because um, the inner child doesn't actually, once we get to adulthood, the inner child doesn't automatically become an adult. It's still the child. That child who carries the burdens of everything that happened to us in, in childhood Okay, so we need to nurture this inner child, okay, because it, it never actually grows up per se, okay, um, and we need to do that so that the inner child, for one, isn't, you know, very 
desperately trying to make its way through this crazy world as a child in an adult's body, okay? Because that's just scary. If you're going out and you're trying to live your life and it's just too daunting for you all the time, it could be because you're living your life from your inner child as opposed to your adult self. Okay, if there's anything that you go to go and do and it's scary or it's you can't face it because it's it's too much, you need to maybe do some work with your inner child to assure your inner child inner child that you, the adult, have got this, they can take a step back. Okay, um, so this is very important for us, for everyone to do, but no one, that's not really that well known. Not a lot of people are doing this in their life. So um, this is something that you can do. You can you can have a photo of yourself at a particular age or particular ages and, you know, just have that in your house and honour yourself and, and let yourself know that you, you see yourself and it's okay, dear, I'm here. It's okay. I've got this, you know. Um, and to really love and nurture the inner child, there's probably thousands of meditations or you know guidance on YouTube that you can do to help with that okay um, also sitting down and writing with your non-dominant hand is a way to allow your inner child to come out and speak if that's the intention that you set when you sit um, with your pen and paper okay um, yeah so what else do I want to say about this the inner child is also with us always. It doesn't, you know, we can heal the inner child, but it's still there and it still needs, just like our own children, it needs constant nurturing, okay? So if you're going through doing this just maybe once a month, it means that for the rest of the month, your inner child's been ignored, okay? So imagine a child being ignored for a whole month except for one day of that month. That's that's pretty huge and this is what we do to ourselves, right? So we need to um, start to honour ourselves um, and, and treasure ourselves, right? So tell me more about inner child for Libra, please. Tell me more about inner child for Libra. Two cards for inner child for Libra. One, the Empress, Empress. How is it that you are nurturing yourself, you know? Um, when, you, when you do nurture yourself, you, the world is your oyster, okay? There's not a thing that you cannot birth into this world. There's not a thing that you cannot create, okay? It helps you to um, get your emotions under control. Oh, I don't really like the word control, but you know what I mean. Um, it helps you, you know, to manage the emotions, Okay, um, because it's not coming from the scared place of the inner child. Okay, there's so many benefits to, to doing this work. Okay, it allows you to connect to to connect in with your your higher self as well. Okay. Um and I love that the Empress has come out here because this is a perfect example. The Empress knows how to do this nurturing. She knows that by doing this, what it is that she's going to grow. And, and you know, by doing this for yourself, you impact the world because you, you change that vibration which emanates out to the world, which is never ending. It never stops. You know, so this is such a benefit. And you also give permission for those around you to do the same okay and to at least notice a change in you okay so um then you know that might encourage them to do what they need to do to help their inner child who knows okay um what i do want to say here libra because we do have the six of wands is that when you make progress in your life celebrate yourself yeah because you don't you don't really do that. You allow other people to step into the light, to step into the spotlight and take the credit. Whereas for you, you're always happy to, to be the one holding the spotlight. Um, and I feel as though there's part of you is afraid of stepping into the spotlight because the inner child is... Um, you know, it's like, I don't want to be seen, but that's actually the fear of the inner child. Because if you were whole and complete within yourself and gave yourself all the nurturing that you um, 
that you needed, you would be able to easily step into the spotlight. And no, it's not a cocky thing to do. Okay, these you can tell off the bat who is comes from a place of cockiness and who comes from a place of authenticity. It's incredibly clear. Okay, um, and, and especially when there's something that you're passionate about, especially when it's involving, you know, your your calling, okay, this, um, this is very important because some of you are actually meant to be in that spotlight, but because the work isn't being done with the inner child on a regular, um, you're not able to pursue your mission like you otherwise would be able to, okay, so, yeah. Libra, tell me more. Next card for Libra, please. What is it? I love that. That's two cards, so that's even better. First card is taking back your power. Um... I, it, it, it's sort of like by nurturing this inner child, you automatically then begin to take back that power. So you don't really even, I, don't, I feel like you don't, it's, it's a natural thing to happen. Um, this is a way to take back your power, is to nurture this inner child, yeah. Um, I don't know what this other card yet is yet because it's upside down. So we'll leave that there. But tell me more about taking back your power. Um, and, and doing that doesn't mean that you are hurting anyone or then you're in a state of power and you're going to use that, you know, for things that aren't so good. Um, so don't ever be afraid of taking back your power. Okay, but see this six of wands here, this person is standing in their power. And, and that's okay to do. I, I just wonder if some of you are a little bit afraid of standing in your power or standing in the spotlight because it means that then you, you have something to live up to and you're afraid that, that you're not going to be able to uphold that. But when you're standing and doing that by standing in your power, there's nothing to uphold because it's natural. Yeah. Taking back your power. Tell me more about this. Thank you. I've got the four of cups here. We've got the four of cups here. See, see, so if you were holding, you know, if you were standing in your power, you would be the one holding this cup here, yeah? You wouldn't be the one sitting here looking at these cups um, that, you know, still like, oh, well, when's it going to happen? Like, barring, <laughs> you know? Um, and I don't feel as though that, you know, this is not, I don't mean this in the way to mock you at all. Because I don't feel like you sit there feeling sorry for yourself necessarily. Um, but I just wonder if some of you feel like you might have missed out a little bit. Even though, you know, you might be happy with how things are now. I just kind of, yeah, there's something about you quietly, just quietly going, hmm, that was meant to be for me. But you sort of allow that to happen as well. Whereas if you stood in your power, it wouldn't happen. And because you're not standing in your power, it's actually easy for people to come and take what is yours, what is meant for you, in a sense. Because you don't want to make a fuss and you don't want to cause a scene. And so what happens is we allow our boundaries to continuously be invaded because we don't want to be seen as difficult. Okay, and the end result of that is the Ten of Swords, where we feel betrayed and hurt and that we can't trust anyone because 
we are not standing in our power. Okay, and I'm drawn back to ritual embrace. Embrace me in ceremony as the morning fog moves in slow. The sadness will dissipate on the shores of land did know. Land did know. I'm going to spell this, so if you want to look it up. L-L-A-N-D-U-D-N-O. Oh, wrong deck. Sorry. Life review. Mm, looking back through your life and seeing um, blah, 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 blah. what was coming through here. Seeing the areas that you may have given your power away or overlooked situations. I feel like this is necessary for you to move forward. This is all part of this healing the inner child. Tell me more about life review. I want to have a look at pagan wisdom again though. Remember the lesson in, of nature. Not everything needs to be rushed. A gift comes in waiting for a tender loving touch. Not everything needs to be rushed. You can take your time to do this. And I just, yeah. Okay, so is it, the case, yes, yeah, see, this is this rushing, right? Not rushing through the life review, really taking your time to look at it clearly and concisely, not going, okay, I'll quickly do that then so I can move on because I don't want to be in this anymore, you know? And um, and then look at this, you know, accepting this tender loving touch of your friends, allowing them to hold you up, allowing them to carry you through, okay? Um because they're, it's sort of like those ones that support you the most are your guiding light through these times, but you still try to do it on your own um, because you don't want to be a hassle. You don't want to interrupt people's lives. You know, these are... Uh, so, so what happens then, and that comes from that inner child place, right, of that inner child, oh, I don't want to be a pain. You know, and and maybe, you know, every time you were needing that support or needing that comfort that you may have been ridiculed, called a sook, you know, or, or laughed at or people used um, your vulnerabilities against you, you know. They found out what you were upset about and then used it against you somehow or other. But there's people around you that won't do that, you know. But because you want to get to this place, you're quite happy to rush through this life review. And that's not going to cut it. You need to take your time with it. And it's the same with the inner child. You need to take your time, okay, doing it so it's done thoroughly. And like I say, just doing it a little bit isn't enough. You have to work with your inner child every single day. Incorporate it then into your life. Because this is you incorporating you into your life. This is you actually being present in your life. Okay. Tell me more about Libra. Libra. Rising up. Look at this. Look at this power. This is standing in your power, man. Rising up out of the stormy clouds here. Um, it's sort of like, it's sort of like not just embracing the storm, but becoming one with the storm. Because you look here like this lightning bolt is coming out of your hands. So it's sort of like, yeah, throw the storm at me because I can be the storm, <laughs> you know. And... Um, There's part of you, Libra, that doesn't want to be that type of person. And it's not about being aggressive or nasty or cruel to anybody. Um, it's just this standing in your in your power. For some of you, um, 
is scary for you. Um, and I just wonder if it's because there's people, been people in your life who have seemed very powerful to you, who have been not so safe and scared that, that little girl, you know, or that little boy, right? And so, yeah, this is, um, this is something that you... It almost feels quite foreign to you, in a sense. Um, but I think there's a bit of a misunderstanding as to what power means to you. Um, so, you know, it's not about being powerful and dominating other people. It's about being powerful in the sense of knowing who you are, knowing what your boundaries are, and um, that you have the self-respect and self-care um, for yourself to honour those boundaries, to stand up for yourself in that regard, yeah? Because it's sort of like, it's sort of like you would prefer someone else to stand in this energy and look like that um, sort of appear to be the bad guy rather than you actually doing that, you know? It's sort of like you allow people to be dominant over you and there's something, some situation in your life that you need to rise up and not allow that to happen. Others can't do that for you because you don't learn your lesson. And what's going to happen is you're going to come up again against, um, you know, and encounter these people throughout your life until you learn to actually do that for yourself, Libra. Okay, so rising up. Tell me more about this, Libra, please. Tell me more about this. And I suppose also this, oh yeah, there's two cards here. Uh, this life review is also looking at the situations where you um, maybe haven't done that um, and how you could have applied that, you know. Um, and also that life review is going back through to see those, um, those, instances that your inner child has been impacted by okay um strength we've got strength here and i really love this because this is totally your energy right um i feel like this is your energy because there's this um I feel like, though, that you're more happy to be the lamb than the lion. This is what I was talking about just before, right? That, um, But there's, there can be a balance, Libra, okay? And when you think about it, that's what, you know, you are all about, that, that balance. But the scales are really tipped right now. Um, and they have been for quite a while, okay? Um, but by getting this balance back, I feel like this is going to impact, you know, not just this entire lifetime, because I'm not just talking about this as though, oh, well, this is just over the next two weeks. I feel like this is going to actually impact the rest of your life. Okay, and so this is why it's so important for you to actually start embracing this work. And, um, but also it's going to allow you to learn such a major lesson in this lifetime that it's actually going to impact future lifetimes too. So this is pretty big. Oh, yes. And then we have the Hierophant. So this is exactly what I'm saying. Like, this is a huge change here. Um, absolutely massive, okay, um, for your future, okay. Um... <laughs> I love this because I feel like this doing this work it's gonna allow you to reach heights that you never believed that you would reach you may actually find yourself running onto the stage into the spotlight maybe not you know literally but metaphorically you will like oh yeah I'm totally into doing that 
Whereas once upon a time you didn't. Because realistically, Libra, you look at how far you've come and the things that you do now are not what you would have done maybe, you know, 5, 10, 20 years ago, right? So you have come a long way and this is, you know, also important to acknowledge. There's still stuff though. There's still stuff, right? If you're still on the earth, there is still stuff. So, yeah. I really love this though. Oh, I love also the power behind this. Um, and because I can really feel that there's this um, subtle power about you. Um, but part of you is scared of that. Part of you is actually, some of you are actually scared of your own power. Oh goodness, I'm trying to get hold of these cards and now they're going everywhere and I just wonder if this is how you feel, Libra. You feel like, see, this looks cycles of life on the bottom of the deck here. I just wonder if you feel like you can't quite get a grip on things sometimes. Okay, so Libra, give me another card for Libra here, please, in relation to this reading. Thanks. The path. This is your path. Which doesn't seem very clear actually. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So maybe some of you are at a crossroads. You're not quite sure which path to take. Hmm. Where was that card? This first one, a ritual embrace. I just wonder if you feel like you haven't got many options, but in fact you do. You do, Libra, you do indeed. And, and the Hierophant here sitting here laughing like, oh, can't you see the path behind me here? You know, but the Hierophant sort of, he tunes in, well, he doesn't tune in. He, he, the thing with this card here is that he knows his power. He embraces his power to the point where he doesn't actually need to climb these stairs Everyone else sit, stands at the bottom of the stairs and goes, oh my gosh, there's so many stairs. How am I going to manage that? I'm going to get so tired. I don't know how I'm going to climb those stairs. That's a massive staircase. It's so huge that I can't even see the ending. It just goes on and on and on. And the Hierophant sits at the bottom and laughs and says, I just have to tap into my inner power and levitate to the top of that staircase. You know? And um, because he he does, he understands his power, he, he embraces his power, and he uses it, you know, for good. He doesn't sit there showing off. He just thinks it's hilarious. He's like, oh, this is all you need to do. It's easy. Let's do it, you know. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. The path. The path is clear. Tell me more about the path for Libra, please. The path. This is real interesting. Okay. Just got to stop myself here for a minute because we've got rising up, which is 11. Right. That's number 11. And then the very next card is the path, which is number 22. That's just, this is why I think I'm, this is why I feel like this is so crucial because you've got two master numbers here. Like, holy heck, what are the other numbers? 30, I'm looking for 33, but no, it's not here yet. Yet. It's not here yet. We've got one more card to pull. But we do have three, the Empress, and we do have three of Cups. Anywho, the path. Six of Cups. Yeah, see again, this is this inner child. It's 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 sort of like I think this is why this live review is really important because the path actually begins back here. And it's kind of like you need to do a bit of a reverse and kind of stand there, and then you'll see it a lot more clearer. Okay. So one more card for the path, please, for Libra. The chariot, yep, and that will allow you to move forward. It will allow you to move forward. 
at um, full steam ahead. And I feel like some of you feel like it's you're going to be wasting time by doing this life review and going back and taking the time you need, but you're not. It's actually going to help you to gain time. Okay, you're going to be um, carrying, because you're going to be carrying heavy weight um, that's not needed if um, you don't do that. Okay, and we've got breaking free coming out here. That's number 32. Dang. And we've got number 34. 33 is not here. <laughs> so there's work to be done. Okay, um, trust. That's underneath. Anyhow, yeah, breaking free. This is you breaking free from this from this weight right you sort of clipping that so it's not holding you back anymore because it really has been and I just wonder if some of you even realize that um yeah that it has been but once you release it you'll realize just how heavy it was Libra okay so tell two cards for breaking free for Libra please tell me more oh we've got the ace of wands Yes, breaking free is going to give you this new beginning, this passionate new beginning of, um, of, oh, I just feel like this is more than just the ace of wands. So this is so much more than just a passionate new beginning. This is the, this is you really bringing forth the, the truth, right? The truth that was, um, trusting this truth. I don't know why I thought that was truth, but maybe, I don't know. But anyway, one more card for breaking free. But I feel like the Ace of Wands is just um, an absolute, oh, I can't even describe this feeling within me. The Ace of Wands is this power within you. Okay, and, and so you taking your power back is going to allow you to ignite the flame that the Ace of Wand can actually possesses. Okay, so yeah. And then last but not least, right beneath the Three of Cups is the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so there's sort of our 33, but not quite. Um, but yeah, this is you weaving everything together, creating what it is that you need to create, okay? Um, and also acknowledging, having the acknowledgement of the work that you've done, okay, Libra? Um, yeah, I just feel like I want one more card for some reason. One more card for Libra, please. Just one more card. We've got the seven of cups choices and decisions there's lots of choices for you um and i feel like some of you are pondering a little bit too long on these things because you're not clear because the work hasn't been done okay and i want to say that you're scared that your choices are going to go from you but i want to say about this libra that what is meant for you will always be so you don't have to worry yourself about that. And that may be why you don't want to take the time to do this, but you need to take the time to do this in order to move forward along this path. Okay, right. Libra, 3333. Three, three, three. There it was on the timer. <laughs> okay, Libra, I'm going to leave that with you. Good luck with that, okay? Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.